Sweden launches research rocket, accidentally hits Norway. Here's a summary of the article. Stockholm, April 25th, a research rocket launched by Sweden Space Corp early on Monday from S-Range Space Center in northern Sweden malfunctioned and landed 15 kilometers inside neighboring Norway. The rocket reached an altitude of 250 kilometers where experiments were carried out in zero gravity, the agency said in a statement. It landed in the mountains at 1,000 meters altitude and 10 kilometers from the closest settlement, Philip Olsen, head of communications at SSC, told Reuters on Tuesday. There are routines in place when things go wrong and we inform both Swedish and Norwegian governments and other actors, he said. Work on retrieving the payload is underway and an investigation is being launched to determine the technical details behind the unplanned flight path, the agency said. Norwegian Civil Aviation Authority was not immediately available for a comment. This post received a score of 22,000, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Implements Article 5. It is Swedish plan to get in NATO. Attack Norway, surrender, get annexed by Norway and be part of NATO. Don't forget the last step. Revolution in Norwegian Sweden and Sweden granted its independence. The Great Norwegian-Swedish War of Tuesday. Or, revolution in Norwegian Norway, establishing new Norway. No way. They are both just going to swap names. So now Norway is Sweden and Sweden is Norway. But all the cities stay the same. Except Stockholm, because of the syndrome. Combine them. Snorway. Snor is not in Swedish so preferably not that. Besides, Norden literally means the north in Swedish so I think we're going with that. Greater than Snor is not in Swedish wait. Aren't there a ton of people in the sagas named? Snorri? So like mothers were just naming their kids? Snotty? We've successfully discovered Norway. Swedish scientists. Reset experiment? Or send back to collect plus five science? I wonder how the mystery goo behaves in Norwegian air. They installed solar panels, but don't get enough sunlight in Norway to recharge the battery for full transmission? Just enable partial and time wrap. Of course. Now Norway can invoke Article 5, invade Sweden, and integrate it into NATO. Poland. Our radar proves the rocket was Russian. A Russian swallow carried to to Sweden where the engine was activated. N. Korea is not gonna just stand by and let this happen. Well, Norway and North Korea only have a single country between them. Practically neighbors. This is a fairly wild piece of trivia to me. I mean I know Russia's massive but I didn't realize that Norway had that tendril snaking around to reach Russia, and that Russia has that tendril snaking around to reach North Korea. They're all just barely touching. Just the tip. Just to see how it feels oh it feels awful. Shush relax. Lol, yeah. You have to try it a few times before you get used to it. It gets better. Relaxing definitely helps, say ah. Shit happens. Denmark once bombed itself. Typical Denmark lol sauce. Swede. Never saw WW3 starting this way, but here we are. Norway almost got Russia to launch its nukes back in 1995. The rocket carried scientific equipment to study the Aurora Borealis over Svalbard, and flew on a high northbound trajectory, which included an air corridor that stretches from Minuteman 3 nuclear missile silos in North Dakota all the way to Moscow, the capital city of Russia. Oh no biggie, just accidentally flashed a nuke directly toward Moscow on some Russian radar for a bit. With a not entirely sober Boris Yeltsin at the launch button. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.